The cause of this one is still under investigation. Global warming. We know the cause. It's all the cars and power plants spewing dangerous greenhouse gases in the air. The scientists are just as sure as they can be. Meantime, rising temperatures are melting the ice caps and pushing polar bears to the brink of extinction. Those who would doubt global warning need to read up. Droughts, floods, and an increase in deadly diseases now in our future. All hope is not lost, though, but scientists say we have to act quickly and go carbon neutral. So what is carbon neutral? In Stockton, D.C. is Joe Rahm, who oversees the blog climateprogress.org. He's also the author of Hell and High Water, Global Warming, the P Solution, and the Politics. Well, we know it's for real. We don't need to go through that. But what I want to know is, I first started hearing about carbon neutral about a year ago. Explain to people how you can be carbon neutral. Well, maybe people saw the Oscars, the Academy Awards uh, announced that they were going carbon neutral. Basically, it means that you calculate all of the greenhouse gas emissions from your use of energy, from your driving a car or from your building, and then you go to a company that does what are called offset projects that, that replace, that uh, save greenhouse gases, and you purchase from them the amount of greenhouse gas offsets equal to the amount of greenhouse gases that you yourself emit uh, in your everyday life and that makes you carbon neutral. And, and how difficult and expensive of a process can this be? Oh, it's not that difficult or expensive. I, I wouldn't name any companies, but you can just Google carbon neutral and you'll find many companies willing to sell you uh, offsets of a ton or two uh, for maybe three to five, six, seven, eight dollars a ton of carbon dioxide. And uh, it really only costs you tens of dollars, uh, tw you know, maybe a hundred dollars to offset your emissions. So it's uh, it's pretty affordable if if you want to, uh, re you know, uh, offset your greenhouse gas emissions and be carbon neutral. You read a lot now about uh, capping of of landfills to stop the meth methane gas emissions. Uh, is that something that you think is a big part of the future of trying to clean up the atmosphere? Well, those other greenhouse gases like methane that you said coming from landfills is a very good way to cost-effectively reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So, yes, right now, if you buy an offset, if you go carbon neutral, you'll be buying the cheaper tons like that. But ultimately, you know, this new report that came out said that the situation is going to be pretty dire unless we take pretty severe action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So uh, I think we'll be seeing all different kinds of projects, renewable energy, wind turbines, hybrid cars, uh, energy efficiency, you name it. The, the, that same report indicates that hundreds of millions of people around the globe, hundreds of millions, will face water shortages. And, and, that, and that over time, the planet could be in real trouble. How much trouble is it that some people still refuse to believe that people are responsible for global warming? Well, I think it's starting, the tide is starting to turn. Most people I talk to clearly see that the weather's been changing. I mean, here in Washington, D.C., we had the cherry blossoms blooming in January. And this new U.N. report, which will come out in April, and it just got leaked, uh, you know, they could be have the same title as my book, Hell and High Water. It said 100 million people would get flooded every year. It said... Uh, hundreds of millions of people would face starvation and, and up to three billion people would face water shortages by 2080. So uh, global warming, if left unchecked, is going to have pretty dire consequences around the globe. It may be more so in Asia and in some other parts of the world, but certainly here, uh, when you consider the effect that the, that the Gulf Stream has and the, the weather just, just in the Northeast, I, I mean, it's hard now to doubt, isn't it? But yet, still, I have indication that 10% of scientists somewhere are saying it's, it's maybe not the case. No, no, not 10%. That, in the February uh, UN report that came out, they said they were more than 90% certain right. that humans were the main cause. I would say it's more like 99% of scientists believe that humans are the main cause. I thought that report was quite authoritative, and I, I think the tide has really turned. Uh, I think the scientific community speaks with one voice. I hope you're right. Good of you to be here. Thanks very much. My pleasure. Coming up from B.